Hello, people of the internet. I'm Brown the Clan. Welcome to the second quarterfinal of the Kilmac Cup. It's the first leg still, and it is now Kiersey's. Or sorry, it's not Kiersey's actually. I don't know what I was saying, but there. Distracted, but anyway, it is St Mary's hurling, St Declan's athletic. Well, you would expect St Mary's hurling here to have very high hopes after what was a strong league campaign. Uh, finishing second, only losing one game, and that was uh, at home to Kilmac Thomas. Uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, things really uh, were going good for them. Uh, they did now slip up towards the end, they drew a few games, but I still would put them very high, uh, <laughs> as very high hopes contenders here for uh, this game. So, you got the Burf and Pampa Bombo, PA Brackets. And well, for us, you have there, I think that's my fucker bottom on the left, and Mossy Landy and Gold. I mean, will they all be enough to stop the break? I don't know. I don't know. That's as simple as I put it. So anyway, yeah, human rights here. Um, really enough for Saint uh, Mary's hurling. He will be one of the key players of today's encounter, as we see who will take a step towards qualifying for the semi-finals of the Kilmac Cup. It's Bernie Casey, the man of Saint Mary's, to get us rolling. And three, two, one. We are underway from the bungalow. The ball knocked forward, and it's played into the penalty area. It's a shot, and it's saved. It's a good save now. <laughs> that has to be said. Ball now. It's into the penalty area, and Bernie Casey tries a bicycle kick, and that was ambitious, but it almost paid off for him. He was unlucky there. And now here's the corner for St. Texans to come in. Mr. Murray swings it in. Mary Dunbar knocks it down and it's knocked down. Oh, it's only as far as I... It's the break... Or sorry, it's Eugene Power of all people who scores a goal for St. Declan's. And it's a shock. The bungalow is stunned. St. Declan's have taken the lead. And it's not the first time they've shocked one of the top teams in the league. But can they hold on to this lead? That is a huge question now. St. Mary's will be out and forced to get them. And it was all thanks to that man there, Eugene Power, that uh, they're even in this position. But, uh, well, what can you do, I suppose? 1-0. Uh, here we go. It's the break. He's looking for a pass. He has it. He's got it again. He's on his way. He's on his way. He's 1-on-1 one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Can he find the back of the net? Yes, he can. It's 2-0. And all of a sudden, shock gets even bigger. Because it's now a 2 goal lead. The break is in... Uh, the break, I mean... He couldn't depend on anyone else to score goals for Kim Mack, just like he does. He is he has been fantastic all season and he's showing exactly why he's the main man again. I mean just fantastic for him. Excellent, excellent ball work and everything. Uh, you know, he knew um, he was going to draw the defence out. And even though he didn't have the speed, he was going to get caught if he kept going. He knew when to place the ball, he knew where to place the ball, and Mossy Landy didn't have a chance. It's 2-0 uh, now and uh, well, uh, for half time, I have to say this is a really shocking scoreline. Um, I expected St. Mary's to put up much better of a fight than this, but uh, uh, really, um, I, I just don't know what to say. I mean, it's been. Uh, sometimes you're just going to get a game that's ugly, and uh, I think this is one of those times where the game ended up being very, very ugly. Um, yeah, but anyway. Okay, so hoping for a better second half. Here we are. And. Uh, the ball is knocked out as far as Mary Dunbar. And oh, why? Oh my god, what a goal from Mary Dunbar. That is. Who, how. You would not expect that in a million years. But that's the beauty of the Kilmac League and the Kilmac Cup, ladies and gentlemen. You get goals like that. Mary Dunbar has just absolutely hammered that home. And you can see even the surprise on Gemma's face, and nothing surprised her. I mean, fucking hell. That's some goal here. Just look at it. It's just knocked up in the air. No one knows quite where it's going. The ball is knocked down anyway. And, you know, just first thing to have a pop. And it worked out just like a charm. It was brilliant. 3 0, and you could not have picked a better fashion to go up 3 0 in. And here comes St. Mary's now. Pompa Bombo trying to get his team back in the game. They are in a bit of a hole at the moment. And uh, that shot there. Fantastic save from Gemma. Brilliant reflexes. Uh, so yeah, it's just not their night tonight apparently. Uh, here we go. Uh, they do have a corner though actually, <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, the header is somehow bouncing around, uh, but no good. Uh, ball here to Mary Dunbar, uh, the goal scorer, here's the break, the break is beaten it, and oh, he fires at home. It is 5-0, I don't believe it. 5, 
five nil. I I have no words. The St. Dexans and Athletic have pretty much guaranteed their place in the semi-finals of the Kilmac Cup. Uh, yeah, it just hasn't been their night tonight, I'm afraid. St. Mary's hurling have been dreadful, woeful. Uh, there's a lot of words you can use to describe them, none of them positive. It has been 5-0 five, five thrashing by St. Dexans Athletic and the break with a hat-trick. So, um, I guess we'll see you in the next match, and hopefully it's not as shocking as this one.